So a spot fire has an alerting capability which is able to send a scheduler alerts out when thresholds are being exceeded. The cross table here is showing depth amounts, default rates, number of uh, different schools by different states. We're going to use this cross table and this depth amount to set our alert. So in this case, when the depth amount exceeds a threshold for a particular state, emails are going to be sent out to the governor of that state for this particular example. So this is where we configure the, alert, the alerting task. We can specify the analysis to be loaded and then the email account details for sending the alert. Now, the scheduler alerting uses the Spotfire automation platform, which can also be connected to the streaming data platforms to trigger real-time alerts and Spotfire analysis. Now, we can see the emails sent by our alerting future. The emails provide information about the depth amount, where the threshold was exceeded and they give you any other additional information and details that you decide is going to be good for the email. Uh, we, we can include pretty much any visualization on this email. You will also notice the link to the library item. Spotfire has a central library where files and data can be managed including security controls. In this example, the alerting feature is saving a filtered copy of our dashboard. So the person receiving the alert can click on the link and it opens on a web browser. Now, let us briefly discuss the alert configuration. This is typically stored in a database and not for the end user, but we want to show you what it looks like. So in here, you can actually set what is going to be the email. So dear Mr. Governor, you're going to provide the link to the library and then you will set the threshold for a particular column. In this part, you will actually personalize the alerting by a specific email that is going to include all the charts that you defined over here. And that is how we scheduled alerts using Spotfire.